This episode is brought to you by Domain.com. Covering the rumors and leaks of the Galaxy S series is sort of like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Sexy, cutting-edge innovation or perforated band-aid. So for the moment, here's what's being said about the much-anticipated Galaxy S7. While Samsung's days of massive growth may be over, the Galaxy S series remains the best-selling and most representative Android smartphone. Millions of people see Android through Samsung's lens, making the Galaxy S7 a hugely influential device. Judging on history alone, one could bet that Samsung will introduce the Galaxy S7 right before the Mobile World Congress, which in 2016 will be held on February 22nd to 25th. In that case, Sunday, February 21st looks like a good guess for the Galaxy S7 launch. However, one source that claims the Galaxy S7 will arrive early is Korea's ET News, an outlet that has had a relatively good track record when it comes to news from its home country. According to ET News, the Galaxy S7 will be released in January. January 19th is mentioned as a specific date, with an in-store availability to follow in February. Now, when it comes to price, according to rumors out of China, the Galaxy S7 may be 10% cheaper than the Galaxy S6 at launch. The caveat here is that we've heard similar rumors in the past, and at the end of the day, Samsung's flagship will remain as expensive as always. Unless Samsung decides to sacrifice profits for market share, we can expect the S7 to be priced in the typical $600 to $700 unlocked price range. Now that's pricing and availability, but let's talk about what's expected under the hood. The most common rumor is that we'll see a 5.2 inch SAMOLED Quad HD display. That's 1440 by 2560 in pixels and Gorilla Glass 4. Samsung will stick with its tried and tested formula for the display on the S7. That means keeping with the 5.1 inch to 5.2 inch Quad HD display panel utilized on the S6, though it's possible and likely that Samsung will improve the efficiency and overall quality of the display. Several reports suggest that Samsung will once again use a mix of Qualcomm and Exynos chips. According to Electronic Times, Samsung plans to use the Snapdragon 820 in the US and China and the in-house Exynos 8890 in other markets. Either choice would provide great performance, despite alarmist rumors about overheating issues. Given that the Note 5 has 4GB of RAM, Samsung will probably use the same amount on the Galaxy S6, though it's possible it will stick with 3GB of RAM, which is still very good. Now there's a rumor from a Chinese leaker that Samsung has quote, listened to its customer's voice and decided to bring back the micro SD card slot for the S7. There's no technical reason why Samsung couldn't do that, and indeed that seems like a good way to win back some of its hardcore customers. I was reading the comments in a previous show where one of you were saying the same thing, that yes, Samsung should listen to their customers because they know what they want and they want micro SD card support. No, they don't. Geeks want that. You and me want that because we know how to use it and we know how to leverage that. The average person doesn't even know what a micro SD card is. I heard one person say, uh, I don't want a micro SD card slot. I want a big micro SD card slot. Yeah, that's how much they know. Geeks want it. Normal people don't. Now when it comes to the camera, two distinct rumors about the main camera and the S7 have surfaced early November. The first one claims that Samsung is going to source the sensor from Sony, the undisputed leader in the sensor industry. Samsung is reportedly interested in the Sony IMX300 sensor, the 25 megapixel sensor used in the Xperia Z5. According to the second rumor, Samsung is going to use an in-house isocell sensor at just 12 megapixels, but with larger pixels, for improved low light sensitivity. Samsung Pay and fingerprint sensor will make a return, probably in improved forms. In terms of new stuff, one Chinese source claims that Samsung will integrate Synaptics Clear Force technology, a force sensing solution. If that's accurate, Samsung may be taking another page from Apple's book in 3D Touch. Synaptics announced that Clear Force will be arriving in smartphones in early 2016. But for now, we are taking this report with a big grain of salt. Incidentally or not, Samsung has a patent on a force sensing implementation. Now on December 10th, OnLeaks released a video showing renders based on alleged schematics from the Galaxy S7 Plus, a six inch version of the S7. The French leaker claims that his report was fully independent from the one from gsmarena.com. If that's the case, there's an increased chance that the design seen in these leaks is legit, 
though we need further confirmation. Now in our mind, there's no doubt that Samsung will release an edged variant of the Galaxy S7. The question is, will there ever be a flat screen version at all? According to a Vietnamese site, Samsung will drop the regular flat version altogether and launch the Galaxy S7 in two sizes, a 5.2 inch and a 5.8 inch, both with dual curved displays. That would be a very bold move that could give Samsung the unique selling point it needs in order to stand out from the crowd, at the risk of losing customers who dislike edge screens. Now, some of you may be hoping for something more innovative, more edgier, more risk-taking on Samsung's part. But if our recent poll on this article is any indication, most of you think the device that is rumored is already fantastic. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now I gotta say, when it comes to finding creative domain names, the Indians are kicking everyone's butt. Are there no Canadians out there who can come up with an Android-related domain name that makes me smile that has not already been owned? Show us the power of a .com and I'll send you one of these. Because no domain name extension tells your story with the same degree of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. Save 15% on domain names and web hosting when you use our coupon code ANDROID at domain.com checkout. When you think domain names, think domain.com. That's right, you can put the domain name in the comments below or follow me on Twitter and I will find it. Don't forget about my brothers and sister in Android who are working super hard, like super hard, to be your source for all things Android.